G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm hopefully gonna get my Android phone, my Pixel 6, connected up with the Rapsat MLM2 Pro, hooked up to my computer and GS Pro using Springbox Connector. We have had a beta update of the application, and that's what I really wanna show off, and I wanna see how this new driving range, which is gonna to come to the main application uh, or the, the most stable release soon for everybody, it will be out soon. So I just wanna see how it goes using it to connect to GS Pro. The range does look different. It looks a lot better. I'll put up a screen, I'll put up a picture of what it looks like now, but essentially it's got gotten rid of the white bar. So there's no more cart path. The range looks completely different. It looks way better. And in today's video, I'm gonna hopefully connect it up to GS Pro, but I thought I'd go through it slow time and show people how I do it and which applications I use. Okay, so I'm going to go to this screen and I'm going to share my display. So I'm going to display capture and I will get rid of GS Pro. Okay, so now you should be seeing exactly what I'm seeing on my screen, which is my GS Pro window. I've just launched GS Pro. I've got my MLM2 Pro connected up to my Pixel 6 and I'm at the range on my Pixel 6. So I'll show that I'm on the driving range, the new driving range on my Pixel 6 and I've opened up GS Pro. I have just downloaded the new version of Springbox uh, Connector as well, so I'll go through that as well. I'll have to do the full setup. So once I've got GS Pro open, I'm gonna hit F11 and just make it into a windowed view, and then I'll minimize it just to get it out of the way. I have the EasyCast application, so that's the EasyCast application there. And as you can see, it says waiting for connection, because what I have to do on my phone is I actually need to get out of the Rapsodo application. We'll swipe up on that. And I have to open the EasyCast application. So I'm open, I've opened up the EasyCast application now, and I need to select the top one where it says broadcast screen. So I'll, I'll broadcast screen, and there you can see the name, JLAG's uh, gaming PC. I'll select that, and I'll start now. And now it pops up like you'll see, um, and I'll, get out of this. I'll cross out of that in the top left-hand corner. But now you can see my screen is being broadcast to my computer. Now I can simply go back to the Rapsodo application. So I'll swipe back over to the right and I'll bring up the Rapsodo range again. We'll go net, RPT ball, graphics quality high, continue without target. And as you can see, I now have my Android device being screencast to my laptop. Now I'm gonna hit those the little arrow there that you can see, I'll get my mouse. So there's a little arrow there. I'm gonna tap that on my phone and that's gonna expand those metrics out. Cool. Now what I've gotta do is I actually have to adjust the size of this EasyCast uh, screen. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna minimize it down like that and then I'm going to resize it to where it pretty much gets rid of those black bars. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, from there, now I can open up the connector. So I'm gonna double click on the connector that I downloaded and I'm gonna open up the MLM2 Pro GS Pro connector. Uh, just make sure my Rapsodo stays awake. Okay, we're back. And I'll just double click on that connector and I'm gonna go more info, run anyway. And now I have the connector up. If you wanna donate, there is a little uh, coffee button there uh, with a love heart. Click on that, that's how you're gonna actually donate to Springbok for this connector. Right, GS Pro connection, let's hit, con uh, let's actually first select the device. So I'm gonna select the Android and it's using EasyCast, so that's what we want. And now I'm gonna go connect. And then for device, I'm gonna select device and I'm gonna select Android and I'll go ROIs. Now, I've gotta hit a shot before I actually do this because I need the data to be in this screen. So I'm just gonna hit a shot quickly. And this, you can literally hit a chip shot. It doesn't really matter. You just need some sort of data in there. So there's my shot and it should register and go through. And now I've got some data in there for the actual connector. So now we can click back on 
Now we can move that, we'll go OK, and here we go, here's our shot. Now I've got to drag these boxes over. You can zoom in, you can make this bigger, but I can see it on my screen. So what we need is club speed. If you are struggling seeing this, just obviously make the screen bigger so you can see it. Club speed there. Next we've got uh, VLA, so vertical launch angle, uh, which is 20.9. And I'll make these quite long and skinny just in case, uh, you know, we have bigger numbers. Now we need horizontal launch angle, which is that one there. Now we need spin axis, spin rate, and finally ball speed. The only other thing I'd love to see Rapsodo do is to get rid of the little MPH next to like, you know, miles per hour next to ball speed, next to club speed, get rid of the RPM next to spin rate, Put that up in brackets just next to the next to the name. If they did that, it would be a lot cleaner for this actual connector. Okay, so once we've done that, we can hit verify. And what that's going to do is, is actually read off and you can just check and make sure all those numbers are good, which they are. So that's perfect. We'll go close and we'll go save. Device Android RIs have been updated. Cool. We'll click OK. And now we can close out of that screen. From there, we are connected, we're ready to go in GS Pro. So let's now launch GS Pro. It is in a windowed view, so I'll hit F11 and that'll make it big again. I'm just gonna go to practice custom skills test because I did just create the first skills test that I've made. And we'll go to RQ and we'll do the easy skills test that I just created for the channel. If you wanna participate and you know take part in this skills test, I will link it on the channel, uh, on the Facebook group, and also I'll link it in the actual description of the video that I actually did the skills test video on. So check that video out. Okay, but now we should be all ready to go. I am, as always, using my Pro V1 with my Rapsodo ball dots. I'll link these in the description. I'll also link my Rapsodo MLM2 Pro stand as well that Claire made me. I'll link that in the description as well. Okay, the skills test. We've got a 25 yard chip shot. Hopefully this works. First time using Android and the connector and GS Pro. Did it work? It did. There you go. I've hit that way too hard, but it worked. Okay, that was way too hard. Let's go a little bit less. Let's just go 18, 16 to 18 yards. Might have to go. Might have overcorrected. No, that's pretty good, 16 yards. I'll take that. This is all working. I've got the um, actual EasyCast just in the background. I haven't clicked on it. It's all working as advertised. 35 yards now. Pro land this about 28. I think it'd be perfect. Might be short, might not have registered. I think it saved me. We had a no read. Pretty sure that was going to be short. Come on, be good. 28 yards. Go! Everything is reading as advertised. That might be short and left. No, that's perfect. Go in the hole. Lovely. Let's see if we can set a high score on the skills test using the Android for the first time. 27 yards over the bunker. Delicate shot. Be good. Oh, I might have to go. Okay, a little bit harder. Hit that a little bit heavy. Go. Pretty good, I'll take it. Out to 60 yards now. Be good. Oh, go in. What a shot. Another one of those, please. Be good. Come on. Don't do that to me. Don't do a no read. 
We've had a no read. Come on, 60 yards. Be good. Might be long. Sit down. Oh no, it's short. Go. Not bad, I'll take it. I think we're currently on for a record here. 73, I should get. Let's get my sand wedge. Put these two close and we'll be on for a, a record. Get up a touch. Go. That's perfect. Just go in. Go in the hole. Oh, we are on for a record. Let's go. What's the next shot? 84 yards, I think. 85 yards. Sit. Oh, go. The, the opposite of what I say. I'll take it. Another one of those would be perfect. Should be the exact same. Oh, that's gone long. Sit down. Should be fine. Okay, final shot of the skills test or the skills challenge. We've got a bunker shot. Come on, let's try and finish in the 800s. That'd be a good standard. 21 yards. Sit. Oh, that's way long. I did not need that. This is gonna have to pretty much go in the hole, I think. Be good. Go! Short. 734, I'm pretty sure that's a high score. Uh, distance to pin was 19.7. But best of all, the Android connector is solid. So we did have a few no reads in there, but that's because the actual unit didn't read them on the Rapsodo app. However, I mean, for me, that's playable. It's a lot better than it was, put it that way. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know any comments or questions, let me know down below. Get involved in these skills challenges. This one is the easy version. I'm gonna have medium and hard coming out later and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.